Hello and welcome back to CEO.ca's Inside the Boardroom. My name is James Fetterman and today I'm joined by Evan Gappelberg, CEO of ARWay. Evan, it's great to see you again. Great to see you, James. So could we start with a quick overview for our viewers? You know, what's the history behind ARWay and what's the mission of the company? Yeah, we acquired uh, ARWay uh, back in uh, 2020. One, I think it was 2021, 2022. Um, I think it actually 2021, summer of 2021. And uh, we've been building the platform uh, since then. We spun it off as its own public company uh, in uh, Q3 of 2022. And ARWay uh, now has some tremendous, tremendous growth that it's experiencing. It is a spatial computing platform. So, you know, we were looking at the spatial computing world before Apple launched their Vision Pro glasses, and we've created a spatial computing platform that does augmented reality, indoor wayfinding and navigation. And it's starting to really gain some momentum uh, in 2024. 2022, we were just building the tech and laying the foundation in 2023, but really we're seeing a significant uptick in demand in 2024. Yeah, so you know, there's been lots of uh, of key milestones, and I want to talk about some news you put out uh, just recently. Uh, you're signing a deal with Mace, George Mason University for augmented reality campus navigation. Can you tell us about the significance of that development, and when will that technology be deployed? So. Uh, Everything we announce is partially deployed already, meaning uh, everybody has uh, signed up to our platform. They use the free version. You know, we have over 4,000, approaching 5,000 spatial maps um, that are out there. And so, uh, yeah, 4,970 at last count of these maps, spatial maps on the platform. And so the George Mason University group, they had a map, they were using the technology on their campus, loved it, contacted us and signed up immediately for um, a year long program. And they wanted you know, to go two years, but they just need to uh, raise some money because everything with them is budget driven. But they did pay us, it is a paid for program uh, we do have a number of universities across the globe that are using um, the the ARWay platform for uh, student navigation and experiences on on the the plat on the platform and on the campus. So it's a collaboration. Um, there's uh, a number of other universities that we're collaborating with, and you know it's the collaborations are great because. We work with the university to make sure that the program's a success, and they in turn give us case studies and use cases uh, for campus uh, experiences for, for students. So it's a win-win. We love working with universities. We have uh, universities in the Middle East, universities in the EU that are using it, universities in North America, and uh, even South America. So it really is global. And you've continued to expand in 2024. Uh, can you give us some of the key milestones that you've achieved this year? Uh, I think the main one is 200% growth in our uh, developer program. You know, we're signing, again, multiple deals. We have over uh, 3,700 subscribers, 58 developers. Uh, those developers all are you know, if you think of the developer, it's a local partner that pays us a monthly fee to use our platform and uh, essentially resell it to their customers. And out of the, the 58, there's another seven on top of that that um, have succeeded in reselling it. And, you know, these resellers, when they do resell it, they move to the, the next tier of the platform where they get a white label app and they're able to get more uh, features and more functionality. And so these are six figure deals and some seven figure deals that are all kind of percolating 
uh, on the platform. A lot of this has to do with new technology, you know, navigation, indoor navigation is new. Everyone knows that, you know, historically indoor navigation has really been poor. And so nobody uses it. Uh, our indoor navigation is quite robust and immersive and everybody's loving it. And so we see this really taking off in the second half of the year as these uh, pilot programs turned in, turn into bigger uh, rollouts. So you're know, talking about some of the uh, programs that you've delivered. You know, you, you mentioned that universities are a key adopter of this technology. Can you tell us who some of the other kind of key customers are? Which sectors are looking at adopting you know, this indoor wayfinding and, and augmented reality technology? Yeah, we're seeing uh, really across many, many uh, sectors the, the desire for, we just got an inbound uh, from a soccer team, for instance, that wants it for their stadium. So stadiums and concert venues, you know, makes it easy to find your seat, locate the washrooms, uh, discover vendors, you know, that kind of thing. Events and trade shows, you know, you, you can remove the complexity of navigating the trade show floor and locating booths with uh, augmented reality wayfinding. Uh, if you look at retail, uh, these big malls, uh, indoor malls, you know, sometimes are, um, you know, miles and, and acres. And, you know, so it helps customers save time locating merchants and products with the, the wayfinding museums and galleries. If you think of a, a guide, uh, a, a tour guide for, for visitors um, to, to find the right exhibit. Uh, so AR, augmented reality tours and navigation. Um, is definitely a use case. Hospitality, so we have a number of hotels where you know uh, you show up to a hotel, you scan the QR code when you check in, and you could be guided to your room or to the pool or to the uh, blackjack table, whatever suits your fancy. And if you you know look at real estate, um, you know you can have a virtual uh, open house. Uh, you know we mentioned universities, of course, hospitals are another one. So. You know, even construction sites, we've had massive construction site operators say, hey, we want to use this to move crews around this, you know, multi-acre site and there's no signage, you know, right? This is just a pile of dirt and there's no roads. So, uh, you know, our wayfinding solution really helps and you could, it's dynamic. So you can change it from Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday based on uh, what's needed uh, in, on a construction site. So lots of use cases, James, a lot, a lot of different industries. Yeah, interesting to hear about how it uh, could span industries. You mentioned uh, it being used in the, the soccer stadiums as well. I, uh, I don't know, my football team is so bad that I think the players on the field could maybe use some uh, AR <laughs> way wayfinding technology as well. But uh, just, just to wrap up, Evan, you know, what is one thing uh, investors should be keeping in mind where they're looking at the AR Way story? So uh, from my perspective, AR Way is game-changing technology that we are pioneering and bringing, bringing into this world. Um, there's a very, very small number of players and there's this massive, massive, massive indoor navigation market. So uh, there is an enormous opportunity for ARWay to become a quite significant player uh, globally. We're seeing demand globally, uh, so the demand is, is showing up. The technology is being built while we're rolling it out. We're reinvesting in our platform so that you can get infinite scale uh, navigation. Right now, there are some limits to how far you can navigate. So those things are going to be solved for and launched in the second half of this year. We're building it now. Once those things go live, the valuation of ARWay, in my opinion, is going to go through the roof. Well, I look forward to uh, seeing some more updates from ARWay throughout the year. Evan, great to catch up. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, James.